Yes. Analytic nature in my training has led to a lot of different things. One of the more interesting things that I have found, uh, fascinating things that I've found, is, is V-Flex and, and our ability to train space using this, uh, using this device. Um, one of the crazy things about the game, and Coach Hicks, I know you'll agree with this, it, we, it changes every year, okay? It is, it's a really fluid sport. And if you, I know you guys watch Twitter and, and Instagram and all that stuff. Millions of people on there talking about hitting now, right? Okay, and how you got to move your body just exactly so, and all that stuff. And that has changed so much over the over, over the last few years. One of the biggest advancements that we've had in the game was this uh, launch angle and exit velocity. Have you guys heard that stuff? Right. So what's exit velocity? How fast the ball leaves the bat, okay? That was really how hard you hit it, right? So when Tim and I were growing up, when Lee and Aunt Leanne, Coach Hicks were growing up, it's just you, you, you hit the snot out of it, right? You whopped one, right? But now we've got an exit velocity. We've got a number. And with those numbers, we're able to quantify what we do better, okay? And the one thing in the game that has never changed is the harder you hit the ball, the more likely you are to get on base. That's just That's just one of the two facts of the game. The harder you hit the ball, the more likely you are to get on the base. Okay, so how do you hit the ball hard? I'm an interactive instructor, so. Good contact. Good contact, how do you create good contact? See the, See the ball. Okay, what do you mean by that? Um, whenever it leaves the pitcher's hand, you have to make sure like, that you're connecting contact with the bat and the ball. Exactly, so. One of the keys to making hard contact is your brain being able to interpret space and an object moving in space, right? Because you've got this little six inch ball starting at 37 feet, that's when the pitcher lands and releases it, coming at about 60 to 65 miles an hour, and in 350 to 380 milliseconds, your brain has to process where that ball is in space, okay? how fast is traveling in space, and then project a path to intercept it with a stick that's about 34 inches long, right? Give or take a little bit. And that's all gotta happen in 380 to 350 milliseconds, okay? The second key and actual fact is that you're much more likely to hit a ball hard if you're swinging at a strike than if you're swinging at a ball. That's just, it that's, doesn't matter if you're, you're looking at baseball statistics or softball statistics, okay? It's in our game, and I have charted about 600 games by hand, watched every pitch, looked at every outcome, I know it's insane, okay? <laughs> it's over 160,000 pitches, okay? A hitter swinging at a strike has an 18% chance in our game, in Division I softball, 18% chance to hit a strike hard. And they have a 2% chance to hit a ball hard. Just like everything, some people are a little better at it than others. Some people can hit balls really hard, but most people cannot. And that is what this whole arrangement is about. Okay, and that's, that's the whole purpose of V-Flex. V-Flex, the, the shading, the orientation, the colors, create a visual magnet, okay? That draw, and you'll see when you get in there, Coach Ed has already seen it, it absolutely draws your visual system to the area that's gonna be the strike zone, okay? And then when you see a ball go through that area, you'll have a trigger in your brain a locomotion trigger and you'll start your swing and you'll make your swing. And when you make hard contact, you're gonna get a release of a neurotransmitter that's gonna reinforce that fantastic motion and you're gonna get a you're gonna get a burst of dopamine. And dopamine is a self-reward, self, you know, self-worth neurotransmitter. And you're gonna feel great about yourself. And when you do that over and over again, it builds your visual <coughs> locomotion center so that you can see space more accurately okay now when you first start we're going to work on hitting strikes 
But as as you progress in this, you can actually train whatever space you want those jigs. You want them to hit in the river, they can hit in the river. You just gotta prepare. You gotta prepare the mind, prepare prepare yourselves to hit that space. Okay? The only other thing you need to know as we go into this, okay, is that this area right here is the V. Okay? So if you take your imagination and extend that line on both of these down to that point, that creates a little pie. And within that pie, at this distance, every single pitch that can be a strike will be within that space. The whole ball. Okay, if the umpire's a little loose, part of the ball. Okay? But it, from this distance, every single pitch that, that's going to be a strike will be within this space. And so if we trigger, we develop the trigger in our minds that when we see a ball in that space, we know it's going to be a strike, we can drive that ball, we can trigger, we know that's going to be a good pitch to hit. Any ball that's outside of that space, and I'm talking even here, not outside of the ring, but outside of that V, is going to be a ball. Okay? So this is simple. See it hit it. Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay? Every now and then we have to throw crazy pitches. That's what I tell my girls. I'll throw it behind you. I'll throw it way up, way up there. I'll throw it way down in the ground. Okay? The reason we do that is the brain, you're trying to train space. Not just this space, all space. And so the brain has to see space, right? And it, so we have to show it spaces so that it can orient that space, okay? The crazy pitches are really, really important for our development because our brain needs to see what all space is before it can process that space perfectly, okay? So I'll throw back here. If you see a ball coming through the V, mash it. If you see it anywhere else, take it, okay? If you happen to have one that comes right down the middle and you don't swing, wash it, prepare for the next pitch, okay? If you swing at a ball, wash it, clear your mind, prepare for the next pitch because it's the next pitch that matters at that moment, right? Okay, just process it, allow your brain to process and go. Second round through, We'll throw double ball, so I'll throw two at once. Okay, the, the only purpose of double ball is to train your lazy eye. All right, we all have a dominant eye and a lazy eye. When we throw two balls, it makes the muscles of your lazy eye work as well. I don't particularly care if you just swing at strikes here. See, hit the ball you see the best, okay? It'll be coming slower because I can't throw two balls as fast as one, okay? So be prepared for a little bit of an off-speed deal. See the one you hit, hit the one you see the best. We'll move the, the ring to the front. We'll work on some off-speed stuff and some, some mental cues. Depending on how long we have. I don't, I don't yeah, know where, they under, don't have weights tonight, so we're good until under, under regulation. But, um, but other than that, anybody have any questions? Okay. Yes. And did I forget anything? I think so. How many pitches do we get each round? 